Hello? Hello? Ha 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 ha! We got it to work, folks. Welcome to the program. We're live right up here broadcasting on a Thursday. Whatever it is. Paperwork in my hand uh, is here to tell me that the best broadcasting is here. Our phone number is 607 238 3816. We're live on our iVlog television, uh, iVlogTV.com chat room. Uh, it looks like everything is up to par, everything is going strong, everything is uh, going well. So we don't have uh, uh, too much going on that is uh, irrelevant to what's going on. Uh, we don't have uh, too many things going on that is uh, unproductive. I do, however, have a few things that I want to mention. The emails have been coming in uh, for last week's program, and the emails are disgusting. The emails are probably not the best. Um, these emails have been coming in telling me how shitty I've been. Uh, letting the callers uh, call in and that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit more uh, fiasco here. A little better uh, timing of the uh, stuff. Because I... I personally think that some of you have, have really gotten yourselves in a, in a, in a tisk. Um, you guys have really gotten yourselves all worked up for nothing. And it doesn't uh, seem to be ending anytime soon. Um, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're having. That's what we're going to follow through on. We got a lot of news. We got a lot of stuff for you today. A lot of stuff that uh, might not be the best, but it's here. We're going to start with uh, this stuff about Hillary and the political parties and people realizing that they don't want to vote for anybody but Sanders. Now, I said I wasn't going to talk about this again, but this is in the news. And it's going strong in the news. It's going very, very heavy in the news. Very heavy, very uh, whatever you want to call it. And it's just gotten to the point where we are at uh, a certain point where we want to uh, bring that up and do more with it and see more with it and hear more with it. That it's uh, almost to the point where it's uh, just, just crackling and dackling and playing little games out there. Folks, it's coming down to the elections as your personal choice. Don't let anybody scare you. Don't let anybody make decisions for you. Don't let anybody con you into doing something or voting for somebody you don't want to vote for. That's the way it goes. Um, also here, and this is uh, PETA's reaction to me, www.thewadeshow.com. You can email me. And PETA's reaction to this email is that it's horrible, it's awful, it's, it's, it's gut-wrenchingly disturbing to them that I would say what I said and what I did uh, on the program about them. Well, that's tough. I'm sorry, but I got tired of having these things uh, thrown into my face. Having these things thrown at other people. I'm tired of having the news and the media uh, say one thing. Uh, people donate money to them. People donate uh, a lot of stuff. People do a lot of stuff. People have a lot of stuff. People uh, uh, try to uh, work within the system. They try to send them money for their, or their funding. And these people want to play games. These people want to uh, uh, euthanize animals that they shouldn't euthanize. They want to uh, play little political power games. And it's not always fun to do that. Not fun to do that. Again, I'm going to say it, not fun to do that. 
It's also not a lot of fun to have uh, different stuff in the works. Uh, like they always want to do and like they always uh, uh, try to do and then have uh, it be deceiving. Now there's other animal activist groups out there. There's there's other things, but they're not in the news for undercover that we know of. Going undercover at zoos, going undercover at different locations, going undercover to, to uh, hurt these uh, environmental uh, places. And I call them environmental places because they're there to help animals. They're there to uh, help question in the Ivalog chat room what's the smoke well the smoke is my cigarette um, I just lit a cigarette folks I'm back to smoking a little bit a little bit a little bit other than the cigars a couple emails asking why I smoke cigars well I do it because it's it's just the way it is I guess thing about these rolly cigarettes that you can roll yourself and stuff they're, they're a little messy but folks, wow, welcome to the program. Welcome to our iVlogTV.com chat room here. We're discussing some of the news before we get into the other stuff. Other stuff I found out, uh, some people were asking about uh, my comments on Facebook about I'm tired of it all. And what I meant by this is that I'm tired of it all as in all of the garbage of political, the government, the, the people that uh, I had a friend who was uh, had a photo reported, but yet this photo is artistry. I have some other friends that have stuff reported that's uh, not bad, okay? But yet you can show pictures of uh, children being slapped in public places by their parents. You can show children getting into fist fights, and kicking each other. Uh, you can get uh, pictures of people fighting out in public road rage and stuff, but that's okay. And show people beheaded. The photo is absolutely disgusting. Facebook did not take care of it at all. Uh, many people, including myself, reported it. And that's okay, but uh, actually having artistry and painting and stuff, I'm not going to get all into it, but that stuff is, is reported because it's, it's, it's profane and, and un indecent and whatever you want to else call it. I don't understand it. I don't know why they do that that way. But they do. They want to sit there and they want to have it that way. And they want to they they want to rule. That's what they want to do is they want to have rule. They want to have control. Um, control is not always fun, folks. Control is not always something that people want to do. Now on the break, I'm getting a keyboard so I can type on this darn thing. Uh, in the iVlog or TV.com chat room, you can type and uh, chat with other people. Uh, just don't get out of hand. Um, I've been opening it up. Our lines are open, 607-238-3816. It's been a busy month. March is over. March is over and we're going into April. So it's over as far as I'm concerned. By the time you hear this, on the rebroadcast on WDBN Radio on uh, TuneIn. WDBN Radio on, on TuneIn. By the time you guys hear this, it'll be April. And uh, April is is absolutely uh, a time of, of, of great stuff. I think I'm going to have to take care of that window in my camera here. The camera's new, folks. Bear with me. I got something new here, so hang on one moment while I do that. Because the people are complaining in the in the iVlog chat room that there's lights in back of me, if you don't realize that. Big windstorm came through here, folks. I'm back, by the way. Just, just a couple of seconds to do that. That's all it takes, and people just don't want to wait patiently for it. Our call-in number is 607-238-3816. Welcome to the chat room, folks. Uh, welcome. Uh, I, I guess... It's the end of the month, and what I do normally at the end of the month is I have open topics. If anybody wants to talk about anything, uh, that's what we do. So go ahead and talk about whatever you want to talk about, whatever it is that's on your mind. I guess I'm going to start with the emails that keep coming to me about me wanting to vote for uh, Donald Trump. I've talked about it too much. Um... 
I've talked about a lot of stuff. I've talked about uh, it profanely, and I keep getting the emails. Welcome to the chat room. If you're in our chat room, welcome aboard. I'm going to find out a way. The iVlog television chat room here. iVlog TV. Uh, uh, to get some way to speak to you other than my voice because a lot of people want me to chat to them um, and I can't always see. See it's over there about like three feet away from me is my camera and my other computer and I got all this stuff in front of me here. I got all the paperwork and stuff. So welcome to that. I think it's great that you're with us tonight. Uh, Cowboy is one of their names. I can't pronounce the other name, and I can't pronounce the other one. And there's a guest or two. Says I got five people in the chat room so far this evening. So why not give us a call, 607-238-3816. And if you're listening to us on the WDBN radio network uh, on Fridays at 10 p.m. on TuneIn, uh, that's a rebroadcast, by the way. I do my show live uh, at 10 o'clock on Thursdays. I also do a segment at 8 o'clock on Thursdays. Um, you can tune in. Some more of this paperwork sitting in front of me as I go down to this paperwork, lowering my microphone to look at it. We have a mysterious thing found in the woods. I've been following this a lot on my uh, chat room as I look down here at my paperwork. Uh, apparently these guys just, uh, these rangers found somebody squatting, what they call squatting, somebody who doesn't belong in the woods, and now it's mysteriously gone. We have other, uh, reports here of Bigfoot. I don't know why I'm sent this stuff in my email from my Facebook people, but I am. We have other news about, uh, the New World Order government, which I'm not even going to get into. Uh, food stamps, Bernie Sanders wants food stamps and health care. Folks, I'm mixed up on this. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know how to say it without offending people. But that stuff is not needed. It is needed, but it's not needed for your survival. Um, it's there to uh, hang you over, so to speak. It's there to get you from job to job. It's there to help you until you need other help. It's not a resource. And uh, I live in the state of New York, as everybody knows. And the resources that we have up here are starting to be only on a certain time period where you can get these benefits and get yourself uh, situated. But I disagree with the time frame of the two to three years because sometimes it takes people longer. Some people are laid off from their work. Some people are laid off from their jobs. Uh, that's also on this list of stuff to talk about if you want to call in. Uh... Tell your friends about us, by the way. So right now we're going up to our first network break here. Uh, I got to take the network break. When we come back, there'll be more. We'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, we got uh, a guy named Cowboy in our iVlog television chat room who wanted to thank me for uh, coming out to his chat room. I just want to let everybody know if you have a channel up on iVlog Television or another show even on TuneIn or Diversity Broadcasting Network, www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com. We support each other here. We try to get each other's stuff. We try to do wonderful things for each other. Uh, we try to uh, get uh, things going on and everything. So that's great. We have some other guests that are piling in, it says here. Uh, anybody can chat in the chat room if you're listening to us on WDBN Radio on TuneIn.com. Uh, www.thewadeshow.com is my uh, uh, website there. Uh, www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com is the network's broad, uh, website there. And it's also the main broadcast channel. We're here on iVlogTV.com. Come up, join us. You don't got to make an account to join us. Anybody can chat in the chat room. Uh, uh, Gizmo Girl Cowboy uh, is here. Um, we have a few other uh, KY Poopies room. Uh, a few other rooms that I support. Come up and support them as well. 
uh, here on iVlogTV.com. And we're back. And what we have here in front of me now for my emails is a lot of people wondering what's going to happen if the, uh, the, the, the elections are messed with. I doubt the elections are going to be messed with. I don't even think of that. I don't even, I don't even know how to answer those questions. Um, they're good questions. Um, we have an electoral college here in the United States. Maybe you're not from the United States and you're listening to us, but we have an electoral college here in the United States. What happens is the electoral college has a point system or some, some odd system they do. I really have never understood it. And what happens is uh, those points go towards who's voted for. So in reality, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe, perhaps, there isn't a full voting system. Maybe there isn't a full uh, voting type system like there is other places and other things. Maybe there isn't uh, that uh, uh, push for the vote that you voted for when you push the button or write it in or however you're going to do it this year. I, I think they're doing the new scan systems this year. Um, which which scares me because I uh, you know anything to do with a computer, I mean human error on counting is one thing, but a uh, you know computer error with the human error aspect is another. But I don't like talking about the elections. I'm not too much political. Um, I stand for Donald Trump. I've said my reasons more than once. I've gotten hate mail over it. I'm not going to do it anymore. 607-238-3816 is the call-in number for you to call in to our program here, for you to be a part of the broadcast. And this week, I will be screening the calls. Last week, I got an enormous amount of email, an enormous amount of email after the one person. Some comments that they said and some other things that somebody else said. I'm tired of the emails, so I'm just going to go and screen the phone calls. I'm going to make sure they're decent, um, but I also have this little button here. I can take this button all the way down and just turn it right off, or I can turn it right on when they talk. That's good. Got a new mixer, by the way, folks. Um, and the new mixer is a Behringer, and it's uh, a great little mixer great little thing um, I don't know how long we're gonna deal with it or what we're gonna deal with it um, it's been getting hot if anybody can tell me anything about hot mixers I don't understand why it gets hot I don't understand why it doesn't have a way of cooling itself off but I was told that's the way it goes like laptops anyways uh, a few people are joining us in the chat room tonight. Uh, join us. Um, what else do we have in front of me here? It's, it's been a slow week. I've, uh, I haven't felt good early in the week. And I came off the weekend with a very serious cold. I had to go to the doctor. And uh, instead of putting me on cold medications, the doctor has put me on uh, blood pressure medication which uh, I have, I'm scared to use. I'm scared to do it. I don't know if this blood pressure medication is going to work. I don't know if it's going to be uh, exactly what I want it to be. But it's, it's nevertheless, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what it does. I'm going to see how it does it. We're going to try it. So, uh, what else do we have for in the news here? Uh, we have a couple of follow-ups here. Uh, when we did our stories last time on PETA, and we did some things on an, uh, animal endangerment, I looked up some information on what we can do uh, to make sure that animals are safe. Because I actually felt sorry for one of the stories they were talking about, about the dogs. And what I found out in this story is that my state has harsh fines, but not everybody uh, is at fault. 
Um, I also found out that uh, animals can be tied to trees, dogs. I found out cats can be kept in kennels. found out a lot of stuff that's a little disturbing to me. I don't know if it's disturbing to you, but it's a little disturbing to me as I go to light my cigarette and the, the end of the cigarette ash falls on my lap here. Wow, that was pretty dumb. But uh, this week I don't have my cigar with me, so I have some cigarettes. But people don't like me smoking. They really don't. And I get emails, I get things about it. Well, folks, that's my decision, what I want to do with it. Um, it's my decision if I want to smoke. It's my decision if I want to come up here and, and pollute the lungs, so to speak. It's my decision if I want to act funny and pollute and disturb my well-being. So, that's my decision. Anybody interested, iVlogTV.com. www.TheWadeShow.com is our website. Got some fascinating stories up there for you. Uh, following some stories in the, in the news and what we've been following. My Twitter, by the way, folks. I, uh... I went up to my Twitter there to, to see some stuff on my Twitter and uh, uh, didn't find anything up there. I don't know what's wrong with the chat room. Somebody just uh, told me the chat room voice is not that high. I, I, can, I think it's great. Um, a lot of people... Uh, uh, can hear me fine. Um, I don't know what that's all about. I've logged TV.com chat room here. So I'm trying to find you a story that I had up on my uh, website. And I'm having a hard time finding it for you. Uh, it's something we've been following about uh, school safety and your children. And what teachers and everybody can do what the other people can do and what's going on and I do see the iVlog TV chat room right now I'll answer those questions in a few minutes we're live on this iVlog chat room by the way if you're listening to us and on the WDBN radio network so if I refer to the chat room that's because we're live on it um, and some of these children have stuff like mental retardation there's a big uh, a video that was sent out of a teacher pushing a child. There's some other children fighting. I I haven't been following it, um, that particular story. But I decided to look in a little bit into it. And I found that there are laws against this. There are ways you can uh, protect yourself and the teachers and everything that goes on in uh, these chat rooms. Uh, in the iVlog chat room right now, I do recognize you guys, so just hang on. Anyways, um, you can protest what the teacher's doing. You can uh, fight the school system. Now, I realize I did a, did a uh, brief uh, talk about this on our program earlier, when uh, earlier... Uh, last month and earlier the month before about how you the parent have a right to know what's going on in your child's life. You the parent have a right to know what education system there is, what uh, is, is, is happening and why. And it, it's crucial that you do this. And I'm going to find a story right here. Maybe we took the story down. Um, I did have it up here. Oh, yes, you're back in uh, January, the story came out, of, of, of children not not getting what they need, not having what they need, not, not going through with what they need. Uh, November, early last year, we had some stuff as well. So we got, and we're still following this stuff, folks, because I follow stories for you guys. If you guys have a story, 
www.thewaitshow.com. Go ahead and email me it. I'd love to follow up on stuff. I'd love to get investigative work on stuff. Uh, we're going into April, by the way. Um, we're going into April. The April months are here. You can go up to our um, uh, YouTube. I've updated all of our YouTube uh, archives uh, uh, for you. And the reason that I did that is because I wanted to make sure all the shows are up to date. The ones that I can show. Now, the network gave me new rules, folks. Here's something. The networks, the two networks I'm on, the three networks I'm on, gave me rules. Uh, diversity Broadcasting don't care as long as I advertise Diversity Broadcasting Network at www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com. They don't care. The fact that the other two networks do. Uh, they care what I post. I can't post all my shows. One of the networks has dropped me or going to drop me. I have agreed to be dropped. I'm not going to deal with it anymore. Um, my fame and fortune is coming from iVlog. It's coming from Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. It's not going to come, folks. It's not going to come from people doing different stuff or having different stuff, or of that nature. Um, what it's going to do is probably come from my show and doing a great job. Um, it's probably going to come from me doing a wonderful job and having a lot of stuff. It's not going to come from these networks, and I realize that. I realize the networks want you to do exactly what they want. I've been through this before. I was through this with you know who, and you know them, and all that other stuff, and I'm not going to do it anymore. I really am not. What's my time on here, for God's sake? Why am I... What's the matter over there? Uh, what's my time? All right, don't... I don't care. They're telling me yes or no. Anyways, I'm going to keep going. Uh, search 07 is the phone number. Lines are fully open. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, some chatters in the chat room I want to mention. Gizmo Girl, KY Poopy, Cowboy, um, and a few guests. It's great to have you in our iVlog chat room. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting the show. Go up to our website. Go up to our YouTube, our Facebook. Add me as a friend. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. And all that good stuff is right down there. Where you and when I say down there, folks, for the people listening, there's a section below my screen where I'm uh, where they can see the video and it has all my information down there. So, you people on WDBN broadcasting, um, uh, you know, WDBN there, radio on tunein.com, you guys will have to just go up to my Twitter. Wild Wacky Wade is my Twitter. Uh, my YouTube channel is on my website, www.thewadeshow.com. So is my Twitter and my Facebook. But if you're wondering, Wild Wacky Wade is my Twitter. Uh, you follow me, I follow you. We all take care of each other on these networks, by the way, folks. That's the way it works. That's the way that uh, we all succeed. And I know other broadcasters and casters and whatever you want to call yourselves out there. They may not want to work together. I realize that. I realize that half of you probably don't care about me, or, or you don't, you don't want my show interfering with your fans. But you know what? We all have our fans. I have an archive you can go up to. I have archives. I have uh, different stuff I do. So that doesn't mean that I'm right here right now. I got an archives. I got things for people. I got uh, whatever you want. Okay. Check out the stories we're following. Check out the stories we're doing. Uh, April, there's two stories. Uh, alien adamant added to the periodic table. I don't know how, how successful this is. But it was added. 
uh, to the periodic table. Um, now we also see some other stuff about the moon landings. Uh, there, there, there's uh, people coming forward about the moon landing saying they're fake. All that's up there on that website. It's a great website. It's great for you to get information. It's great for news and all that science stuff. And by the way, something great is happening. And if you remember, I used to do the Paranormal Show. I used to do the Paranormal World Show. Well, something as great is happening, folks. So stay tuned for that. I can't say too much right now. It's in the works. Legally, I can't say too much. Want to call in 607 238 3816? Uh, we got to go on a short little break here, folks. A short little break. When we come back, more on this stuff. And I'm going to get this website up and we're going to talk about what's going on. We'll be right back. www.thewadeshow.com. www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com. WDBN Radio on TuneIn.com. And I vlog. TV.com chat room. We're here live with everybody that's here chatting with us. Join us. We'll be right back right after this, folks. And we're back on the air. We're having problems with with uh, people finding the iVlog chat room. What you got to do, folks, if you're having problems finding our chat room, or perhaps maybe you want to join us every week, you got to go into the Now Live at the top of the screen then go find the wage show then come in and if you are not have a count if you do not want to sign up for an account you don't have to you just have to agree not to be stupid in the room and then you'll show up as a guest if you want to be an account and have your own show or just be a member that's fine too we'd love to have you over here iVlogTV.com uh, www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com TuneIn.com WDBN Radio and my website thewadeshow.com Welcome uh, everybody. Welcome to the uh, show. Welcome uh, to what we're doing here. All of everybody in the chat room and everybody that's new here that I just found out we have because I just opened up a, another type of uh, um, thing here. Uh it is, it's, uh, it's doing fine here. And uh, what I think is happening is uh, a lot of people are trying to get in quicker than they realize they should be. I don't know. I don't know why people do what they do. I don't know why people can't find stuff. I try to, I try to get them in as uh, best as possible. Wild Wacky Wade is my Twitter, by the way. The person that asked, if you want to follow me. What we're trying to do is get people to come in by having a link, and uh, they're not. They're not having um, too much luck with it. But, but you know, the link is there. The link is for you. I'm trying to type it in right now. For everybody. So if you're listening to us on WDBN Radio, what's happening is people are not finding the chat room very well. Uh, we're trying to... Uh, We're trying to get it up there for people, and they're just not, not, uh, either they're not uh, successfully getting in here, or it's not working for them. I don't really know. Um, but whatever it is, uh, I'm going to give up, because I, I've posted it in all three places we can post it in, and they're still not. Uh, doing uh, a very good job of it. They're still not getting themselves up there and over to where they're supposed to be. So, uh, let's just go back to the news. And what we're going to do for the news is uh, we're going to follow through with something that I had on mine here. 
I had some news earlier, and something was just posted on Facebook that's absolutely awesome. It uh, shows a uh, cowboy in a pink suit with a big frilly mustache and curled beard and everything, and it's just awesome. Somebody else sent me uh, some information about this food uh, thing, about uh, national food regulations now, that they don't have to put the product info on the food now, uh, especially meat, place of origin, or how it was uh, done and stuff. I, I found that to be false. There's labeling on food, and it has to be labeled. It has to be uh, labeled correctly. It has to be directly uh, for uh, food uh, product uh, makers. I, I guess you'd call grocery stores or factories or the places where they make the food and they and they can it and they put it in the, the meat in the plastic for you, either a grocery store or the, the, the companies that do it. They have to meet these regulations. They can't just deny you information about your food. But uh, I guess it's gone a little serious as some of that information uh, is not required. The information that should be required has never been required. Um, for instance, there's allowed in your bread and peanut butter, they're allowed to have bugs in it, certain amount of bugs. Uh, the meat is certain amount of days old. In fact, they put red dye into the meat. Okay, folks, I'm going to come out and just tell you this. They put red dye in the meat to cover up the rotting of the meat because it's been, you know, it's muscle tissue of an animal here. So it's rotting, and they cover it up with the red food coloring or a red dye of some sort. Now, what's in the chemical of the red dye, we don't know. That stops the rotting and other stuff. But that's why you're supposed to cook this food, Okay. Humans can eat raw food. If you went up to a squirrel on the ground and ripped the squirrel open and you started eating it, you could probably digest it. It's all this processed stuff that you're having problems digesting. We know seafood can be eaten raw by humans. Um, we know that. We know that uh, this stuff can be done. So I'm not sure why the people are getting all bent out of shape. It's been like this since the food uh, industry first put these food labels on there. Uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's just uh, it's just the way it is. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, we followed that story on here too. In fact, I had a caller call in and ask for some information. Um, about that. Uh, other stuff on Facebook. Um, there's other news on here about standards and stuff. I, I'm not going to follow it. Stop sending me it, okay? People want to post stuff and people want to be funny and weird. Don't send me that stuff. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't care about it. I know what I'm doing. I know what I want to do. Um, uh, here's some stuff. Um, touch of modern, it says. Power extension cord redefined. I guess it's a block and a it looks like this little block, like a dice, like a big square with plugs in it, and you can change the size and stuff. I thought that was really neat. Um, we see some other stuff about dinosaurs. Um, that uh, somebody sent me a video of everything that's wrong about that we know about dinosaurs. Thought it was very nice. And now in the news, there's some more stuff coming out about dinosaurs may have been their own type of blood. May not have been cold-blooded or warm-blooded. Now we've known that for a while, but... 10,000-year-old uh, cave paintings depicting UFOs and aliens. Thought that was pretty odd. Um, 
There's there's this funny video of a, a astronaut in a gorilla costume. I was sent. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. What other news do we have? Um, we're going into some uh, uh, other uh, stationary news here. Mysteries and stuff. There's a lot of mysteries of stuff flying around. They don't know if it's drones, which I've discussed on the program. I've discussed it in the past, too. Uh, drones, are they uh, mechanical robots? Are they spying on us? Are they these new cameras that I talked about, folks? I told you they're going to get new cameras to put out there and uh, have them around to watch you and watch what's going on. I told you about it, folks. I told you that it's going to happen. I told you that the camera is going to be sophisticated. Uh, the, uh, the powers that be, I don't know if they're government. See, I don't think it's government. I think it's actually private industry that makes this stuff. Uh, we see a lot of private industry doing stuff, and I named one the garbage industry for one. Recycling and all that stuff is run by private firms. Police are done by private city firms. The government has nothing to do with the police. Um, just, that's just an example. So, if they're running these things in the air and they're watching us, spying on us, looking at us, uh, seeing us, whatever the case may be, and there's tons of stories. I've, I've read 25 stories, 30 stories. I'm up to 40 stories, folks, of people that have seen this stuff, that have been watched. Um, they're described as black uh, uh, helicopter-like things. And they're described as black balls. Um, and they're watching people. Now, I know crime prevention in big cities, New York City for one, has what they call surveillance drones. They actually have them. They go out over the city and they watch for stuff because they can't wire all these cameras all over the city. So what they do is an officer or a person in charge of doing that, I'm not going to say it's a police officer, but they call them officers. Yeah, the safety and all this, it's a whole division in, in the city. San Francisco, Detroit, Chicago, Miami, Orlando, Florida has some of these. Um, they have them up there. Orlando, Florida uh, actually has a lot of this stuff because of Disney. But we won't get into that. But then what they do is they fly these things up and they watch neighborhoods and they look for crime. Or they fly over, what they also do is they fly over houses or calls. Say someone calls in an emergency. They fly over so that they know what's going on. They take pictures so when the officers get there, say someone's fighting, they have the fight on video, they have the pictures of the fight. They also use them for speeding. Um, in California, uh, right now, uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles as well, Los Angeles is using them for uh, speeding. In other words, you're doing traffic violations or traffic misdemeanors or felonies or whatever it is. What well, You're doing things wrong when you're driving is what it's playing out to be, whatever you want to call it. Well, now they're catching you doing it and then sending you a ticket in the mail. It's the newest thing that they had. They had helicopters here in New York for a while. By the way, in the state of New York, they would fly over you in different areas or they would monitor you by cameras, but now they're using the drones. And I quite frankly don't have an opinion about it. Uh, that it's new technology. We're not wasting anybody's time. We're not hurting anyone doing this. Uh, if it's responding to an emergency as a fire or a fight or a medical emergency and it is done because they need to know who to send and what kind of help to give and why and where, that's wonderful. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's when you get into it, they spying on us, what we're doing personally and uh, with our own modern uh, 
whatever we're doing. In other words, you know, they're monitoring us while we're having our family barbecue or something. That's when I start getting a little leery. I start saying, that's wrong. It's, it's, it's um, putting us on the, the defensive here. Why are you watching us? What are you doing to do that? Why, why do you have so much control you can do this to us? And that, that's a big uh, secrecy and public knowledge and privacy have all been versus each other. It's like three wrestlers in a wrestling ring. They've been fighting with each other for years now. And there's no big answer to it. There's no good answer. There's no bad answer. I personally think if you're spying on somebody, that's wrong. If you're doing it for crime... It may be spying on someone, but you're not using the video for anything but that fight. So if you fly over to Little League game, or you fly over to Family Barbecue, or if you fly over to two making out in the park, or whatever you do, and nothing's done with it, fine. You fly over and see a fight, see a car accident or something, uh, you know, people, Europe, England, and uh, Scotland, I know, has it. Uh, France has it. Uh, a lot in Germany. I know the Autobahn, that area of the highway, a big road there has it. Um, some parts of Africa, some parts of China, Russia. We see in Canada now they have it. They have these things so if something happens, the person reviewing these video screens can send emergency vehicles or send whatever it is needed. The other day, a tree fell in the middle of the road here in my local area. It almost hit a bus. I think it damaged a car or something. Anyways, if they had saw that on video, they could immediately send out help. Instead, people called 911, and the help wasn't immediately gotten out there, and it made a whole big mess of traffic and everything else. Uh, I know there was an emergency at the mall. Somebody was outside, and they're laying on the ground, and they had to call, you know, the... The paramedics and the ambulance and the fire truck. And stuff. Well, if they had saw that, they could immediately send somebody out. Maybe they would have video for the doctors to see what happened when that person fell. So in a way, it's fine. In a way, it's not fine because they're going to spy on you having your pool party and your little barbecue. That's wrong. Unless you're doing weird shit in your barbecue or something. God only knows that the people around where I live. But... Uh, you know, so we, we find these drones up there. And I've been following that story for a long time, really long time. Um, they're finally admitting to it. They're finally saying that it's used for the public safety. Public safety is just an excuse to do something. You could say you want, you want all the chairs in a room to be blue colored because you want public safety and paint every chair in America blue. It doesn't matter. It, it, it's just a, a rule. It's just something to call something something. And it's really, really odd. It's really, really weird. Okay? But that's what they do. And I gotta take a drink here. Because uh, my throat's starting to get dry again. One of the reasons I went in, went into the doctors in the first place if you want to call in, 607-238-3816. I think we do have a caller. Caller, hello. Hello? Well, nobody's answering. So, I don't know what that's all about. I don't, I, I, I really don't know what that was all about. Um, caller, hello? Caller? Are you there? Huh. I don't know. We got an echo, but that's it. Well, we tried. Goodbye to you. Um, I don't know what that's all over. I don't know why that's all over either. I don't know what's going on with that. I 
I don't know what's going on with that at all, to be honest with you. But anyways, um, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we're going to do. Um, so, let's see what we got here for news. We got another trawler. Trawler, hello. Hello. Trawler. All right. Never mind. Trawler is not there. I don't know. I'm getting an echo from your phone. So that means you're not shutting off uh, your device. Um... You gotta shut off something in the background there, buddy. You gotta shut it off. Uh, shut me, turn me down uh, when you're talking to me or something. I say this every week, folks. I say this every week when we have callers. Turn down the stuff in the background because I can't hear you. It's all static. So, uh, 607-238-3816. We add those two. And you notice I got a little button here I can push and I can just throw up there. So, I can do that as much as I want here. So, that's on there. So, I can put that right there all I want. Just like that. And it's, it's right there. So, however that goes. So, uh, caller, welcome to the program. Caller, hello again. All right, never mind. Caller is is not there again. All right, three callers. That's it. Not. I don't got any more on the board here. Cleared off the call board. I don't know how long they've been waiting, but if they don't want to speak to me, maybe they hung up. Remember, if you're calling in, folks, you got to wait till I get to the phone. That's why we have music and other stuff on there for you to listen to. You got to wait till I get to the phone. And if you don't wait till I get to the phone, then that's your problem. So, 607 2383 www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com. We're looking at another break here, folks. I got to take it. It's one of those PSA breaks. So, we'll be right back right after this. And we're back. I don't know what the heck that squeaking noise is. But that was really, really annoying. I have no idea what that noise was, folks. I actually don't. I have no idea why that noise was like that um, when I came back into the program. Um, that was a little odd. Anyways, folks, we are here. I was looking through the emails. Looking through uh, as I go along here. Uh, one email sent to me here. I, I'm going to read the emails throughout the show. I hate doing it all at once as I normally do. But that's, that's sometimes we've changed that a little bit. One of the emails is asking why the phone doesn't work. The phone does work. We got it fixed. We got it solved. We may even have a phone coming up. We may even have a old system like laid out in front of me here. A whole system. Or you can call in and everything right from your phone. That is that is what I'm talking about, and that is what we're doing here. Is we're trying to get the phone in, we're trying to get the phone to become something. And that's what we're trying to do. And we're doing a really good job of it. We're trying to do a good job of it. Um, we're trying to uh, get get things working here. And and as I say this, I see a guest in the chat room some more. I vlog TV.com's chat room here. Last week it was pretty full. This week it's not really full. Uh, we're all going into the end of the month. We're all going into the uh, April month. April showers will bring beautiful May flowers. 
We all know that saying. Let's just hope that April showers are not cold. It was very, very cold this winter. Absolutely very cold. Absolutely frightening. Um, the winter has passed. I'm happy with that. I'm happy that things are what they are. I'm happy with things the way the weather has changed and the way the weather is doing better. I'm also happy with the fact that we can finally stop seeing snow on the ground. Um, if you're listening to us on WDBN on TuneIn.com, you can listen to our live show, iVlogTV.com, at 8 and 10 o'clock, or 8 to 10 o'clock on Thursdays here on iVlogTV.com. Join us for a live program every week. It's a lot different than actually listening to us because you get the whole entire program. You get the whole entire thing. I, I talk with my uh, listeners here. I talk with my viewers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you get to see me do the show. You get, you get the whole package. The whole entire package all in the one. Now, a lot of people do come in here, and a lot of people like it. Let's give out some shouts out to people here. Are you ready? When I give you a shout out, say I, Gizmo Girl, Cowboy Mike. We have guest one, guest two, guest three. We have guest 18. We have, I'm just joined by the G and then the numbers here. Um, we have some other uh, people on here, KY Poopy. We have uh, Mike, uh, a girl named Jen, uh, Sporty. There are all the people that are up here on iVlog TV. Go ahead and support them. We also have some people from our Facebook and our Twitter and everything like that. So go ahead up to our website, www.thewadeshow.com and check out our Twitter, check out our Facebook, check out our YouTube. Email us your topics and questions and maybe your complaints and your insults. Who knows? Um, let's go back to the stuff that we're talking about here in the news. I I didn't get into some of the the big stuff that's happening. Um, I guess they're mapping out new planets. I didn't get much into that. Um, DNA... Uh, they found some new DNA stuff, health stuff, cancer, a lot of stuff about marijuana and uh, what it does for bipolar, what it does for cancer, what it does for AIDS. Um, I'm up in the air about these dispensaries because, uh, as you know, we've talked about this before. If you go to a dispensary, they don't know you. They don't have anything to know with what your allergies or anything about you are. And then they give you uh, uh, marijuana, medicine, so to speak, plant, natural, uh, biological medicine. And if something happens, what, you know, what do they know? There has been allergic reactions. There has been problems with it. Nobody tells you this stuff. But I am for us getting cancer cures. I am for us getting mental illness, bipolar, like bipolar cures. Schizophrenia is on the list. There's some other debilitating mental illnesses like depression is on the list. Um, uh, here's something that's very funny. This Planet X thing is coming into the news again. And it's saying that it's causing huge changes. Uh, and at the same time, right under this article is biblical changes are happening, and it's the same changes that the Planet X is causing. thought that was something kind of unique. Uh, I am a Christian, by the way, folks. Um, but I just thought that was pretty funny that uh, they would have Planet X, uh, the one that's debilitating making it so the earth is changing and horrible things are happening and then the apocalypse is doing it right under the same article almost the two articles are almost the same 
So is it God or is it Planet X? Well, I think it's more of a biblical thing, but we won't get into that. Uh, here's some things. Um, Ron Howard is one of them. He is uh, the star of Happy Days. He's also a producer and director. And there's a few more names on this list that all are agreeing that the Apollo 11 moon landing and NASA has faked stuff and lied to us. Um, I don't, I, I really don't know what to say about that. I got into it a little because after all, you know, I get into the paranormal stuff a little bit, but it's not, it, 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 that, I mean, if it was, then fine. If it wasn't, if it was, then why don't they come forward and say so? So we can actually go to the moon and, you know, do it real now. If it wasn't fake, then why doesn't someone come forward and say that and shut these people up? I mean, if somebody was saying something about me, I would certainly defend myself. NASA is just sitting there not even paying attention to it, unless that's their strategy. They don't pay attention to it, hoping it will go away, and nothing happens. Nothing evil, nothing uh, broad, nothing becomes uh, uh, structurally uh, uh, immoral with that. Nothing uh, becomes uh, a problem. Nothing becomes uh, uh, something that we should be worrying about, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Um, call in and talk about it. 607 238 We got a caller on the air. Caller, hello. Caller, are you there? I hear you talking in the background. I hear you talking in the background there, crawler. I do hear you, and I'm shutting you off right now. I can hear myself, and then you laughing and stuff in the background. And like I said, I got this little button, because I keep getting complaints about my callers. I got this little button for you, buddy. Okay, let me tell you this right now. I got this button now. I had it before, too. Got a button. I press it. You're out of luck. Okay, you're out of luck, buddy. Because that means I'm shutting you off. Okay? I'm shutting you off. I'm sitting there and shutting you off. Plain and simple. You're done. I'm not going to have that, folks. When you call in and you can't answer, that's, that's, that's what, what... See, I'm stopping you guys from doing your stupid behavior you guys have been doing to ruin my show. And maybe you don't like it. Maybe you are trying to talk, but it's not the phone system because the phone system's corrected. It's been corrected for a while. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you do this every week. I don't know what kind of uh, funny games you like playing on here. I don't know what kind of funny things you think is funny. I don't think it's funny. The rest of the people don't think it's funny. So why are you doing it? I don't know. And, you know, I see five people in my iVlog TV chat room, so somebody in there must be fooling around, calling in. I know I know who it's not. So uh, it's probably somebody from there. Either that or it's my other live network that uh, streams me live that is hearing me and calling into our program. I haven't figured it out yet. Either one of you guys, you know, when you're laughing and there's nothing in the background, I know you're about to fool around. I know you're fooling around. You're doing something stupid. Um, here's some other news. Morgan Freeman, I guess, is uh, successful about his conversion of a 124-acre ranch into a bee sanctuary. That's very nice. And we see some other stars here. Um, on the list here, he's just at the top of the list, of doing stuff for nature and conservation. Uh, I think that's great that these celebrities get themselves out there and they get themselves going and they're doing wonderful things for conservation and animals. Um, I, I think it's wonderful that they do that. 
And I think if, if I had enough money and I had uh, the resources to do it, I think I would help. But I just don't have enough money to throw around to different charities like maybe I'd want to. But I think it would be great to do some of them. Uh, we know the ones that I wouldn't support. Uh... Some stuff about the war, uh, about, uh, and I've said this before, people coming back, um, people uh, returning, probably the better word, uh, with ailments due to being in war, being out in the Middle East. Uh, we saw this in the Gulf War. People coming back with mysterious illnesses while well, they're seeing it again. And it's more than traumatic stress disorder. It's more than the uh, depression disorders. It's actual physical cancers. It's actual physical body harm. Skin. Uh, organs. And I imagine with all this stuff that's out there, there's, there's probably something out there. And I imagine that they're going to cover it up because they don't want to know it. Because then they got to fork out money for it. Or it's just part of war. Heard a lot of veterans say when they came back from Vietnam and other wars that they suffered from different stuff. Um, so they say it's part of war. Well, I don't. I say there's something out there. I say that something more is happening. And we need to take care of these veterans, by the way. Um, there was a story on Facebook that I read. I kind of got into... And again, if I had resources enough, I would help, but I don't. I probably should do something. But it's talking about uh, veterans that are living in cars. They serve the country. They come back. Uh, maybe their wife left them. Maybe they have health uh, problems. They can no longer uh, live on the, the retirement that they have. They're living in their cars. They're homeless. This is a very serious situation, folks. Are you listening? Are your ears on, folks? Your veterans that are fighting for your freedom are homeless and living in their cars. They're homeless and living on the street. Uh, they're homeless and they're not getting the good health care they need. Something needs to be done about it. Okay? I've, I've, I've fought on here. I've said what can be done about it. I've, I've many, 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 many times thought and, and spoke about what we could do. But nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to take consideration. Nobody wants to do what they're supposed to do to help. That's what I think the situation is. Nobody wants to act. They don't want to act now. They want to wait. They want to do this. They want to do that. The time is now. It's not tomorrow, folks. I just want to get that out there because two of these stories here that I'm reading off the uh, thing here are, and one of them is in my hand here in a pile of stuff I have, are our necessity. They fought for our freedom. We should make sure they're taken care of. Other countries take care of their veterans. Why don't we? But other countries also take care of their health care and their people, and ours doesn't either. So, you know, maybe there's a little thing with that too. Uh, alien DNA in the uh, human uh, in the human uh, structure um, in the chrome the, in the chrome the gnome whatever how have you say this word in our DNA structure <laughs> that's coming up again that we have Illuminati and lizards and all that stuff coming up um, and we see this now and then. Uh, countries, uh, uh, this is a big conspiracy. Russia and all those are, are putting themselves and money together to go against the U.S. I don't think that's true. Um, if you remember correctly, Ronald Reagan wanted peace with the Russians. Um, I, I don't think that's true. Since some other countries here, like the Middle East, has us already, um, they're they're funding. We're funding the war. Uh, 
and all these other people that are doing this stuff. This 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 stuff is crazy. But it's here in the news. It's right out there in front of people. Who who shuffles through some of these news stories? I'd like to know who does that. Because some of this stuff is going to scare people. And I've said this before. Some of this is going to scare people. And some of this is going to make people go, Oh my God. Or whatever other words they want to use. And they're going to get in trouble and they're going to get themselves uh, really, really, really going here. Um, that's all I got for that news. That stuff. I think the most important one is on there is the drones that I discussed earlier and the fact that our, our veterans are, are, are not being cared for. That's something that I want to see the people that listen to my program start doing this year is uh, paying attention to our veterans. If you know a veteran, uh, if you know somebody, it's an, anybody that needs help, I want you to help them. A friend needs a pair of shoes, buy them a pair of shoes. If you see somebody that's homeless, If you see somebody that's homeless, go ahead and, and, and try to uh, try to get them so that they're not homeless. Try to get them some help. Um, there's agencies out there. I know that. I know that. Somebody mentioned I've logged TV channel. There's agencies. Listen, I don't care if there's agencies. Obviously, the agencies and the corporations and all this stuff that are supposed to help them are not helping them. Because if they help them, then obviously they wouldn't be homeless and obviously they wouldn't be having the problems they're having if somebody was helping them. That's the way it goes. If somebody is helping someone, then why do they still have the problem? I don't understand it. I just don't. Our iVlog TV chat room is now almost non-existently busy. Cowboy is still here. We have two guests still here. Maybe the guests are up there from Facebook. Maybe they're up from Twitter, YouTube. I don't know where they're from. All right, folks. www.thewaitshow.com. That's my website. Uh, the number is 607-238-3816. www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com is the network. we got to go on a short break here. wdbntunein.com. Our live chat room, iVlogTV.com. Uh, we got to go on a little break here. When we come back, there's more of the show. So don't go away. Don't go anywhere. I mean, you can go to the bathroom or get something to eat. But don't go too far because we'll be right back. And we're back. As I, as I got up to go get a drink. And as you can hear me rumbling and grumbling, I had a quick sandwich. God knows what that's going to produce a little later. But uh, I got a caption of my other Facebook here, and a few people complaining they can't find the link again. Listen, go up to iVlogTV.com. You see at the top of the page it says Live Now. You click on Live Now. And then you go up and you uh, proceed to find me in the group. I'm going to see if I can find myself. I'm at the bottom of the page now. I don't have a feature thing. I don't have anything to help me uh, become featured or anything. Um... I don't have anything out there, really. So, that's that. When you want to go up there and, and, and see something, that's that. And I know the audio keeps going in and out, and I don't know why up there. And I know the audio keeps playing little games with itself. I don't know why it does that, either.
So what we're going to do is I'm going to see what this audio is all about. I think it has something to do with the way that this uh, mixer is set up. I got a new mixer. It gets hot at times. So I, I, I may have to return it, but it's been doing really good. And that's how my phone system comes in. Uh, the phone comes in and it goes through the mixer. And that's how I caught the two phone calls. Also on the break, we had two people call in. And if you call in and you won't tell me where you're calling from, and you won't tell me why you want to be on the air to speak, and all this stuff. Oh, God, that's the sandwich coming up. But anyways, then I'm not going to have you talk on a program. Because there's no sense in me bringing you up here to talk you're going to scream into the phone and have all that nonsense stuff. It's just not worth it. And so forth, so on with that conversation, I guess. Because a lot of people have heard me say this every week. The intelligence of the callers are getting lower and lower. I like to see people call in and ask about subjects. Stuff they need to talk about. But like I said, I'm not going to put them through anymore. And then me get in trouble because some idiot wants to go through and yell on the phone or flush the toilet or scream or, or, or do all that kind of stuff. I don't know what the problem is when you do this stuff. I don't know why you people think it's okay to do that. But I'm not going to put it up with it anymore in the program. I have an honest program. I have a really good program going on here for folks. And I want to remain honest and good to my programming. I want my programming to be something that sponsors and other people may want to get up here and hear. I want people to be able to come on here and know that they're getting good programming. And getting programming, it makes sense about the views that they want and hear. The news stories might not always be the best on here, but that's what people are talking about. Uh, you know what I mean? And again, I'm going to say it. You know what I mean, folks? Um, it, it gets a little dumb. It gets a little um, pondering. It gets a little odd. I don't know if the other casters have this problem or not. I don't know if people call into their program. I don't even know if they have phone numbers. I think I'm the only one out here that does. But we're an honest program up, uh, up on the iBlogTV.com chat room. Now, tune in uh, uh, Fridays at 10 p.m. is a rebroadcast. So if you're listening to the rebroadcast, our live interactive chat room and everything is done on Thursdays. Uh, we also done live on another network. On Fridays, it's done live on another network. So with these networks rebroadcasting it on Fridays, and I'm doing it here on Thursdays, sometimes people call in when they're not supposed to. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, I wish more people called in that had brains. I wish people called in that made sense. I wish people called in that had uh, the, the abilities up there and their faculties. And there's not a lot of cobwebs up there in the belfry, so to speak. But that's the way it is. And here I am making fun of my callers, asking them to call in. Which is not very fun. Not very funny, actually. But that's the way it goes, I guess. When you're in this business. Um, it is the number to call, 607-238-3816. www.thewadeshow.com, www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com, uh, wdbnradio on tunein.com. And the live uh, uh, interactive chat room here, where you can watch the whole show being done and every and, and bonus stuff. You can watch me, you can talk to me, and everything on the breaks. Uh, that's iVlogTV.com. And I tell you these things to go up to these things because I want you to be a part of the program, not to, you know, to plug all this stuff and then nobody shows up or doesn't do anything. It is, <coughs> oh God, as I have a cigar here. Oh, I went from cigarette to cigar and that's a bad case of story here. Oh, oh, anyways. 
as I sit here and cough and explain to you what should be done, the phone is ringing. Caller, hello. I can hardly hear you. Would you please speak up? All right, you're gone. I'm not going to give you second chances, folks. One chance is it from now on. I've learned from the last two broadcasts that I'm not going to give you a lot of chances. You're not going to speak up. You're not going to say a name. You're not going to say a topic. Then I'm going to get ready and go on with my show because there's no sense in having deliberate stupidity uh, being broadcasted through the whole microphone thing here. And we're at the bottom of our program. We're going towards the bottom of our program. Uh, our program is uh, only about an hour, hour and 45 minutes long, to believe it or not. Because we got all those advertisements in there. If you want to sponsor or advertise on the program, go up to the website, www.thewadeshow.com. Go to our website, read the information. We got great information for you. Maybe you own your own business. Maybe you are somebody that wants to get involved in the program. Uh, maybe you want to get involved in what I do here. Go ahead up to the website, www.thewadeshow.com. Let's go over to a mail. More news. What what is what is really happening in world news? That's what I'm wondering too. Thank you for asking and and that one. Thank you for asking that question, by the way. World news. Why is world news always the ones that have to be put up here and you hope it's right and you hope nothing serious is going on? As I light my, as I smoke the cigar again, oh, and as I cough, and as my audio goes in and out in the headphones, um, I don't know why that headphones just went in and out. Maybe it's because my mixer's hot. I don't know. But here's some other stuff. Which nations have nukes, and how many do they have? We're going through this again. Uh, China and a $50 trillion global electricity proposal. Uh, plan envisions linking existing and future solar farms. Wind turbines and electricity plants in Asia, Europe, Africa, and the Americas, according to the head of state at the Grid Corporation of China. Linking everything together. It uh, shows a picture here of them having uh, these uh, grids in the water. It also shows them on buildings. Uh, I'm up. I'm really uh, in for having grid electricity solar panels. I've been for it for a long time. Uh, you can energi uh, energy efficient and saving energy and making energy and all that. The sun is a great source of energy and why don't we use it more I've said it many many times I've gotten involved in it um, the problem is the money they claim there's no money in it um, they claim they cannot produce money from it well if they're distributing electric let's say up here we have NYSEG Mohawk uh, Agway um, the green uh, energy whatever it's called there they take the energy and they either make it or they distribute it. Well, they're, you're paying for it to be brought to you is what you're really paying for. So somewhere they're making it. Somewhere they're getting it. And then you pay them. So why the money's not there for solar energy? I don't know. Why not have everybody independent and their own solar energy, just like they're independent of growing your own food in their backyard. That's another thing. Why can't you grow your own food in your backyard? Um, I don't understand why being self-sufficient is so harmful and so wrong. Um, I've always said that uh, farmers and mountain men and bush people and whatever you want to call these people that live in self-sufficient out in the wild, out in the country, wherever they live. I don't understand why they can be self-sufficient and the people in the city can't. And why people don't want to be. 
Like an electric car. Why not build your own electric for your own car? Uh, uh, it, it's, it's unbelievable why you don't want to make your own stuff and not have to live by these other people's means. Um, it's like owning your own house. You don't got to live by the rules of the landlord and turn in your uh, wages every month and all this other stuff you do if you own your own home. Well, if you own your own home, why not own your own electric? You're in charge of making it and doing it and supplying it and everything by the sun and everything else. What is wrong with being self-sufficient? I don't understand. I really don't. Um... Recent studies indicate that drivers are unlawfully paying too much for auto insurance. Uh, it goes into the insurances. It goes into why it's so high. It goes into other insurances and insurance fraud. This article actually leads into insurance fraud. Um, it leads into people lying about their insurance, lying about their health insurance, which is pretty interesting, lying about their health insurance. I've said this many a times. It's not only the doctors that are doing it, but the patients are doing it. So why uh, is it that way? I don't know. I've said it for a lot of times, millions of times, millions, millions, and billions of, of, of productivity. I don't know why I'm getting a buzzing in my headphones, folks. Hang on a minute. Anyways, maybe the, maybe the uh, uh, mixer's overheating or something. Who knows? Anyways... I don't know why, if I've said this for many, 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 many times, that uh, insurance fraud, health insurance, mainly, is the big reason why we got to pay so much. Uh, you got to pay a lot for your car insurance. You got to pay a lot for all this other stuff. And this whole insurance article starts off on drivers, uh, dr the basic auto insurance. And it goes into house insurance, property insurance, which is probably the same thing, to believe it or not. Health insurance and other things and frauds and all this other stuff. Folks, why are you frauding anything? Why can't you just tell the truth? You have an accident, you have an accident. Uh, you have something wrong with your body, you know, be honest. Don't, don't make it so that people have to pay more and stuff. It's not fair to the other people. It's really not. Um... Cutbacks on speeding and DWI. I mentioned this last week and they're still on this stuff. Uh, DWI uh, laws are changing. Driving laws are changing. Um, it, it's, uh, it's very serious, folks. Driving while impaired. There's some states that legalize marijuana that have it on there. New York State, the state I live in, actually has impaired driving now. Um, it's not necessarily drunk driving. Anything to impair your driving is a serious uh, uh, crime. It's very serious. You need to be out there watching out for others. Others need to be watching out for you. Um, we all need to be safe on the roads. I've talk I talked about this in length last week. I don't need to do it again. But that's something that's in the news. Um, I don't understand... What's going on with uh, this? I don't know what's going on with why people uh, don't understand how serious it is. But they continue to drink and drive. They continue to drive drunk. They continue to drive impaired. They continue to drive stupid and dumb and idiotic too, by the way. All these dumb drivers out there on the roads. They can't watch out for motorcycles. They can't watch out for buses and big trucks. I don't understand. I don't understand what's wrong with your driving, folks. You have a test for 15 minutes, and then they think that you can drive for the rest of, the rest of your life. Um, I don't understand. But that's the way it is. Running into the bottom half of the program here, www.thewageshow.com. www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com. Um... If anybody has any news stories or anything you want to talk about, let me know. Email me. The email's up on my website. Uh, here's some more. Transformation of cities are changing with technology. We all know that. 
but it gets into some big stuff with computers and other stuff. Um, it's interesting what other countries see about the United States. Um, wages are due to change. New York State just went up to a $9 minimum wage. Um, they just went up to uh, uh, the $9 for the minimum wage. Um, which I think is, is, is excellent. Although I am for so I am going to say this. I'm for somebody for equal pay for equal work. If you're not going to work hard or do something good, then why are you going to get a lot of pay for it? If you're going to work hard and do something good, then you're going to get a lot of pay. Okay, that's the way I see it. $5 an hour, $10 an hour. It's all the same if you're not really doing work. If you're working for the $10... Uh, you know, people in other countries, folks, they, they have a smaller work day and they do more production than the U.S. does. And I realize I might have a global audience by now. But I'm just saying, folks, we need to wake up and do better here. We do. Um, I've always been for your wages reflect on what kind of a person you are working. Uh, if you are a shitty manager, then why do you get the best wages? If you're a good manager or a good worker, or a good hard uh, uh, person that makes sure stuff's done, uh, then you get the wages that reflect that. Now there's some jobs like bus drivers and firemen and policemen and stuff that for the shit they put up with and the, the hazards and dangers of their job and truck drivers, cab drivers, um, for what they put up with and the dangers of the job, there may not be a, a, a you know amount of money worth it, but they still do their job and they do it well. Uh, one of those is firemen and policemen. I can't tell you how much money you got to pay me to walk into a burning building or see somebody shooting at me, but there's people who do it, and they do it for low wages, or they do it for high wages, or they do it for no wages. There's volunteers out there, volunteer firemen. They get nothing for what they do. Why can't they be volunteer farmers that give us food and help us grow food? I've often said, why can't we send the prisoners, these offenders that have done really bad things, make them work. Make them go out in the field and work. Make them go out and collect garbage. Make them go out and clean bathrooms. I've always said that. Somebody offers me to clean the bathroom, I'm absolutely a no. There's prisoners in jail that can clean the bathroom. I want to do something better. But that's the way it goes, I guess. I was once told to be a manager, you have to clean a lot of bathrooms. I don't believe that. I don't believe that one bit. www.thewageshow.com, www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com. One last break before the bottom ending of the program here. We're going to go on one last break. We'll be right back right after this. All right, we're back. I was watching some, uh, yeah, watching some news over here. and um, Apparently... Apparently, we are, uh, I don't know why there's an echo. Oh, boy, there's an echo and a buzzing in my headphones again. That's why I don't like my headphones. Buzzing and echoes in them. I can hear it right in the back of my headphones. Um, uh, what's his name here? Uh, let me find his name. He's a great actor. Ronnie Corbett. Best known for the two Ronnies, um, dies at 85. Did a wonderful sketch, Four Candles. Um, it's uh, a little bit of the sketch there, I guess. Um, it's, it, it's a wonderful uh, little sketch about getting stuff in a shop. I, I, it's like Monty Python almost. It's British. Uh, he died at uh, 85, it says here. Um, wonderful actor. Um, 
some other things uh, uh, are coming up here. Dealing with this nuclear power thing also. I think I missed it earlier or maybe I wasn't really caring when I said it. But a lot of uh, stuff with this is that uh, Russia may still have nukes and other countries have nukes and we have nukes. But I don't think there's going to be a Cold War. I don't think there is. I could be wrong. Maybe I don't know too much about this stuff. But also, people are really worried about war, as in a World War III, because the countries are fighting so much right now, and Obama's doing so much. Listen, Obama did a lot of good stuff for us. I voted for him. He did a lot of good stuff. Maybe the health care is not the greatest, but I am starting to eat my words with a big buffet plate and a big buffet spoon and fork and knife and everything else I can eat with because the health care is giving people health care. It is making sure that people are healthy. It is making sure that people are doing good and uh, it is making sure that the people are getting what they need for health wise. But there's a lot of downfalls to it, I guess, too. We're going into the bottom of the pass of the program, so www.thewayshow.com, www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com, WDBN Radio is on tunein.com. Uh, our chat room and our uh, wonderful uh, broadcast, uh, TV like broadcast, where I am on the cam and diddle cam or whatever you want to call it is on iVlogTV.com. You can also go up to see Cowboy Mike's show. Uh, you can also go up to see the other shows that I mentioned earlier, Sporty's shows up here. Um, we're getting down to the last half. So I'm going to open up the phone lines. No, Nobody's on the phone lines. By the way, I did get two callers, and the person did flush the toilet in my ear. And I didn't put it on, folks. I'm doing better. I'm listening to the emails. I'm listening about the callers ruining the program, and I understand this. Uh, we're almost uh, at the very end of the program. We are at the very end of the program, actually. So we only have so much time up here for the networks and everything. Um, I normally hang out a little bit more on iVlogTV.com than I should after the program. So, this has been this week's program, folks. www.thewadeshow.com You can send the emails. You can join our Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. Don't forget to check out the archives up here on www.thewadeshow.com www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com is a wonderful broadcasting company that has our show up here on WDBN Radio on TuneIn.com. Folks, I'm going to see you next week. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll have this mixer not overheat, and hopefully we'll be doing better. www.thewadeshow.com. I'll see you next week.